Welcome to another Professor Pinball creation. This time, we've got Earthshaker. So for Earthshaker, I ended up having to make a new Pinduino board specifically for System 11B and 11C games. Uh, you can see it right here. This is it, this red board. It's plugged into J11 and J12 on the power driver board. And due to having this uh, interconnect board below it and that speaker, I needed to come up with a new design in order to help make sure it didn't cover or get in the way of the wires below it, as well as had clearance with that speaker above it. So if you go ahead and put one in, you basically have to put it in there, push this back, slide the speaker grill in, everything pops in perfectly. And now to test it, for Earthshaker, I have a set of addressable LEDs right under here, under Nevada. And the whole idea here was that when this splits apart at the fault line, we'll get some fire sort of simulating lava or something like that uh, coming up from between California and Nevada. So I like how this came out. This uses a new fire effect in the core Penduino library. And um, I don't know, it works well on Earthshaker. I'll show you what this thing looks like. So I'm gonna turn off the room lights um, just so you can see what this looks like. It looks great with um, uh, a game in, in a you know normal dark room or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up a game. Um, but because getting that fault line to open up is part of the uh, locking balls from a multi-ball, I'm just going to go ahead and um, trigger most of these by hand. So we'll go ahead and get the 8, let me go ahead and click the 2, we'll click the 5, and trigger the 4. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a ball down there and you'll get to see what this fault line looks like when it pops open. Oh, there's a fire effect. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. So then it will uh, trigger when it closes up too. So basically what happens is whenever that coil gets fired, either to open the fault or to close the fault, it'll do the fire effect for about three, four, or five seconds or something like that. Um, so of course the other time when you see that is in the main multi ball sequence. So I'll go ahead and uh, get that triggered. Go ahead and get all these locks. I'll get the, uh, the members collected for the locks. And now we'll go ahead and start the uh, multi ball. So go ahead and shoot that one. Now we'll go ahead and just collect all of the balls down here at the bottom. Grab them. And then come back up here. Go ahead and put stuff in there. Watch that ball line open up. Oh, there's our fire. That's looking good. It's now going to go ahead and be primed for getting, I guess, one of the jackpots. Let me go ahead and throw another ball in there and we'll see what this looks like. Yay! Lava fire as California and Nevada split apart. So, um, yeah, that's it. I think it, I think it came out pretty well. Um, if you look at the description down below, there's going to be a link to the instructions on how I made this as well as a link to the code for doing this yourself over on GitHub. Thanks a bunch. If you got comments, go ahead and post them below. And I do want to give a big shout out to my buddy Adam here in Tucson who let me borrow his Earthshaker to do things like this. Anyways, thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.